Hey guys, Ice and Tempest here. Today I'm going to show you some more easy flashes, this time on Mirage. I stopped the clip here to show you where to align your crosshair and you're going to do a run throw. Just like that. This is going to go through the window and you can see here as I run around the side to show the area of effect. This is a easy $200 investment to on an eco round to try and get in the side and get the bomb plan. So a lot of players like to flash B apps like this, Flashback. and the problem with this flash is that it doesn't really have any effect, it's gonna pop behind a wall. So what you wanna do is you wanna get in the corner of the pillar here, you wanna aim for the frame of the window and above the arch where the blue meets the grey, and this will pop in the top of the arch inside the window and become a pop flash. As you can see here, there's not much time to react to this flashbang. You gotta remember about these nases that all of them have the same trajectory. So you can use a smoke, you can use a frag, if you want you can molly, just like the flash. It's the same alignment, there's no difference to it. If you play car, you can get on the corner of balcony and aim at the lower left of the right window, and this will pop flash as well. You gotta be a little bit careful with this because it's in the air for a long time. It's not flying that fast. So it might be more useful to stop a rush than to actually try and flash peak. When the city side has an upper in middle window, there's a way to actually peek him with a flash. If you gotta be two men about this, one guy is peeking, one is flashing. You're gonna throw the flash like this, you're gonna align the top of the roof here with the windows on the tower in the back. You're gonna aim somewhere around here, and when the top of the roof reaches the tower, you're gonna do a jump throw with your left, uh, sorry, right mouse button. And you're gonna have a guy peeking. The flash is gonna be behind him. So, as you can see here again, this will pop flash him because the other will not see the flash, or he will have a very short reaction time on it. The next flashbang here seems really difficult but actually isn't once you kind of learn to do it quickly. You're gonna align with this board, we've got a picture where it goes, so you're gonna be on the cardboard box. I use the tub with the scoreboard to align, I'm gonna get on it here, so I align my scoreboard here and I'm gonna have my crosshair here and I'm gonna be crouched and move a little bit backwards while I throw the flash. This will make the flash fly a little bit more, so we'll hit the wall above the window and fall down and flash. As you can see, anyone looking towards window will get flashed from this one. Even orbs peeking. So if the T's are taking A side with smokes, I'm just gonna randomly throw a stair smoke here smoke. to prove my point. Uh, you you can throw this flash from stairs, uh, because the flash is going to go through the smoke, so you can peek. It's not smart to peek without a flash. It might get you killed. So you throw the flash like that, pretty easy, and then you peek. This way, anyone on T-Ramp will be flashed, and you can see there's not a long reaction time. And they will probably be looking towards city or towards site, trying to clear that out. If they smoke here as well, I'm just gonna smoke it off here, again to prove my point. You can do the same thing and try and get in, get a quick kill. Either you can back out the way you came from or you can maybe move to triple box depending on what kind of enemies you see or not. Once again I'm of course gonna show you some one-way smokes and the first one here is a very common one-way smoke. A lot of people know this. You don't want to get in this corner to do it. You want to get in the corner of this wooden thingy dingy. As you can see, it's going to stop you here. And you can go around to hit there. You want to be in this corner. You want to aim at the roof. There's going to be a black spot. And at the bottom left corner of it, smoke. you're going to throw your smoke with the last one. one. And it's going to land on the bottom of the window. This way, you can peek through this corner and see pretty much all of mid. 
and no one can actually see you. Once you see the smoke, I advise you to always pre-fire this particular spot, because this will result in a kill. The next one-way smoke I'm going to show you is to deal with orbers or riflers, whatever players there's going to be on van at B side. So you want to get into this corner here, next to the fridge, and you're going to aim at the bottom right of the brick furthest away at the top, right there. You're going to throw with mouse button 1 and 2 at the same time and get on the couch and further on to the table. This smoke might seem like you're very exposed, and this is why it's so OP. This bullet hole is where my head is going to be, and you cannot see that bullet hole. As you can see, I'm going to try and predict where it is. Well, a little bit off. So, I hope you will enjoy using these one-way smokes and flashes. Thank you guys for watching.